Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a come plant shopping with me. So it's been my 30th birthday, it was a couple of days ago, and I was gonna do an intro and an outro at the plant shop, but I got too shy and I kind of chickened out. So here it is now. Um, so the first shop we went to was Home Depot, which was a, it holds a lot of plants, but it wasn't as impressive as it was last year. But I think that's because my plant game has stepped up a notch. Um, but nevertheless, the plants were amazing. There was loads of them and for really, really, really good prices as well, which is kind of annoying because I can't take them home with me. Um, and then the second shot was a Lithuanian, um, just like a local garden center. So nowhere I can really recommend, but if you do have a Home Depot near you, then I highly recommend them, especially as the ones here, the plants are in good condition. So that always makes it better. So I hope you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you do, and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you at the end of the video. Seventeen. Seventeen. We're doing this in the market because this is what they're Fifteen euros, just so big. In um, the market, that's thirty pounds. These are all from the same family, so these are a no bit. How much is that big cactus? This one? Yeah, 43. And do you think that's a pricey? The hairy one? This one. I don't know. This one is 119. That's, no. It is old. I really, really want to take one of these home. How much is that? Lip salad. 10 euros. Look how bushy it is. Just 
Okay. This is 113. I do think that's worth it. How much is it? Six. Mm -hmm. Six I just got a really small one from the market. And it was all lettuce ones. It's just probably going to be the same price. Six euros. Oh, cute. Oh, small Brazil. These are the ones that we need in the fruit bowl. Zooming in. It's very zoomed in. Because the fact that the process I learned to use the drone is. And look how beautiful that is. Three years. There's another layer of baby. They're very cute. They're very helpful, these ones. I do like the, um, these begonias. I like this one. This is a bit like a purple iridescence, and that one's like a green. This is very pretty. I like that. It just looks a bit, um, Bigger, but that one, I prefer the variegation on that one. This one looks kind of nice. Maybe I should get two. <laughs> I mean, they're only two years, 16. That is it. I still prefer this one.
So I hope you enjoyed that video and you probably saw that I was more interested in the enjoys. So all the plants that were there, I I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go back and get the Ripsalis, um, I'm gonna get a begonia and maybe a few more, but I'm gonna leave it a week to see if they bring in any more stock, so any like different plants. Um, but on my birthday, I was a bit overwhelmed with turning 30 and quite frankly, I didn't want to do anything. I was a bit like, meh, but <laughs> I think now, I think I'm definitely, well, I want to go back to Home Depot and do it all again, but actually look at buying more plants. But anyway, into the haul, which is only one species of plant. I literally got three of the Enjoy. I would pick the other one up, but got two hands so yeah I've got two um, I've got three of these sorry and I I mean these were two uh, two pounds these were two euros 67 um oh sorry two euros 63 and uh, I mean this this is a plant that's been on my wish list for ages it's not well we all know me now that I, I don't necessarily like really rare plants I don't have any rare plants apart from my variegated monsteras and they're not rare anymore they're just more hard to come by and they stress me out so much. So I'm definitely a kind of common plant kind of gal, but these aren't that common to find in England. You know, they're not, you can't, well, I don't just come across them in a supermarket or like a plant shop or anything. So I was so happy when I came across these in Home Depot. So that's why I picked up three. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I think I might have to, either take all the kind of soil off them and maybe bring them home bare root, I think. Um, it all, again, it depends on how many plants I pick up. So I'm obviously gonna go back to Home Depot. So if I get more plants, then that is gonna be my only option, I think. If not, then I think I can get, I can get them in hand luggage like I've previously done and just kind of like have like a broader bag where I can all sit them on the same level. Um, but yeah. That is what I got. I got three Enjoy and I am so excited to take them home with me. And I wanted to get a, a plant to kind of commemorate my birthday, is that a thing? I really like the idea of saying like, in like five years, 10 years time, whenever it is, to say like, this plant will be huge by then. And I can say, I got that when I was 30. And as I know, it's just more of like a meaningful plant. But I was really, really happy to get a wish list plant on my list so that was very very good and like I said I think I'm going to go back for a Ripsalis, a um, Begonia and there was a few kind of like succulents and other things that I wouldn't normally go for but they're really really cool and um, so I think I will go back for them as well because they're all quite small and um, there was a 10 euro Ripsalis which was massive like it was like a big basket and it was so so like full um, I'm gonna see if I can get that one and take it in hand luggage. Because that's the problem with this, this place. The plants in Home Depot are so affordable and absolutely like bargain prices that you kind of feel obliged to buy plants. But anyway, I think I will buy the plants I want. And when it comes to packing them up, if for some reason I can't take them with me, I will leave them with my mother-in-law or we do have an option of which is a bit extreme but we have an option of getting a, um, a courier so you pay 20 euros to this courier and he kind of drives from Lithuania to England and delivers your parcel so I might get him to bring over some part like plants if I really really find one that I can't leave behind but yes I think all the plants that I will get in my next trip to Home Depot I will do a July plant haul because when I was in England before I left, um, probably not that like a clever idea, but apparently they're okay at the moment, but I bought a lot of plants before I left. So I will kind of do like a July plant haul and kind of put them all in one video. So I hope you found this video fun to watch. It was a bit different from me. Um, it felt more like unusual kind of like getting my husband to film me in public I was like really really shy you can probably tell in the shop I care too much about what other people think but I hope you liked it and I will see you in my next one bye